now to the investigation into Saturday's mass shooting at a Buffalo supermarket. The suspected gunman made a five minute court appearance and for the first time was in the same room as family members of the 10 people he's accused of killing. He's back in a jail cell with no bail as the community prepares funeral services. We get more from CBS's Jerika Duncan. Shackled and wearing an orange jumpsuit, accused gunman Peyton Gendron was back in a Buffalo courtroom this morning. The 18-year-old showed no emotion and avoided eye contact with anyone but the judge. Hey, you're a coward. He was jeered as he was led away. Rabbi Jonathan Fryerish sat with family members of some of the victims. They were stunned in silence and stillness. I mean, what do you do when the monster who has destroyed your family walks into a courtroom? Today, we learned a grand jury has indicted the suspect on first-degree murder. At this time, all charges remain under seal. The FBI continues to investigate the possibility of hate crime and domestic terrorism charges. Since the shooting, Top Supermarket has been a crime scene. But today, Buffalo's mayor announced the evidence collection phase has concluded. However, there is still no word on when the store will reopen. We will be here. We will be in this store. We want to make sure that it is done right and we open it in a respectful manner for our associates, our employees, and for the community at large. During last Saturday's rampage, a TOPS employee says a 911 operator hung up on her because she was whispering while hiding from the shooter. That operator has been suspended. It is our intention to terminate the individual. However, there is a proper procedure we have to follow. Late this afternoon, family members who lost loved ones gathered at this Buffalo church. I need a village to help me raise and be here for my son because he has no father. And she was referring to Hayward Patterson. He was 68 years old and a beloved deacon at his church. Tomorrow is his funeral. Tonight, there's a prayer vigil at this church behind me. And there are many gatherings planned just like this one in the next coming days and even weeks. Nora. Tarika Duncan, thank you so much for all your reporting.